and then this one goes right here. Hear that? Welcome back. I have a little something here for you guys. My truck here, this uh, 98 Chevy 7.4 454 has an injector problem or maybe the fuel rail problem. And the way that I know is that truck is off. All right, keys right here. And I'm gonna bypass the fuel relay and I want you guys to take a listen inside the hood. So let's go under the hood. So you wanna make sure what you're doing here because I'm not gonna be responsible for you blowing your computer. So do your research, but this is the fuel pump relay right here. This is the fuel pump relay. How did I know? Right here, fuel pump relay, and it sits just like this. Fuel pump relay right there. All right, so what you do, you wanna jump the pins 30 and 87. So 30 and 87, which is, if you flip it this way, here's 30, so it'll be this one and this one. You jump a wire. Make sure your battery's connected, obviously, because you need power. And I just want you to listen right under here, because on this motor is over here, the 454, the 74. You can see the little the valve there where you can um, see the the fuel pressure. And the the reason why I know is because as soon as I run the truck, I put the 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 fuel gauge here. And I can see that my pump is fine because I changed my pump not too long ago, which it was like probably three, four days ago. It will show me that pressure is good all the way to 50, whatever it is, between 50 and 60. And then if I just shut the truck off or not even start the truck, I see the, the, the needle come down. So that means I have a leak in the system somewhere. So that's why I want you guys to listen. So when the truck is off, if you bypass your fuel pump, you're not supposed to hear anything over here. The only thing that you're supposed to hear is in the back, or you can hear a humming noise from your fuel pump starting, you know, working. That's about it. You're not supposed to hear a, like, some, like someone is peeing inside of your engine. So let's check it out. I want you guys to listen. So that goes here, and then this one goes right here. Hear that? I'm gonna put it on again. It's like somebody's peeing inside the truck. Look at it. One more time. Oh yeah. So what sucks about this truck is that you got you have to um take the intake manifold here to get into the rail because the rail runs right over here right down the center and then you uh I can see one injector right here so this is one injector one this way and then the other way and then so there's four here four here obviously you know that so what you got to do is you got to take your air box and then you got to take uh, this out you gotta obviously take your serpentine belt with over there there's your the tension pulley here and then I don't take I don't take this apart my AC the only thing that I do is I unbolt these four bolts right here and then I just uh, just pick this uh, AC unit and I just over that way uh, next you're gonna have to take the Take that evap, whatever the shenanigan is right here. Take that out. Um, you can't take your EGR valve or you can leave it on. The only thing that you have to do is you plug it in. But if you do leave it on, um, your 
your intake manifold we're gonna it's gonna have to kind of stay over here towards the side or you're just gonna have to unhook it right there um there's a few things that you have to unplug from the wire harness over there in the back so you can open this up and then there's four bolts on the on the the manifold here so one two and then obviously after you take this one out it's three four then in here like one in front same thing um one two underneath there two and then three in there and then four in the back there right over there yep. and then we got to get in here and uh i'm going to put a little picture on the screen showing the rail and uh back there there's also a, also a fuel pressure regulator all the way on the back so you got to get to that so this is this is not a video that I'm gonna like change everything here because there's videos on taking this apart and stuff like that I just wanted to show you like what to look for when before you're taking all this apart and thinking that you have like a leaky system or a leaky fuel injector or whatever mine is pretty bad because uh, I use dirty gas because I go to the junkyard and they have to um, uh, they have to uh, remove the gas from the older vehicle so we end up they filter it but it's not enough so this problem right here then doesn't come by surprise I know that was gonna happen um, this is a truck that I just use for work and plus I already have another backup engine just in case anything happens to this engine so I'm not that worried about it but if you are if you are thinking about that you have like a leaking injector or anything like that if your car is running rich truck rather which this one is this is what you do you jump the full your fuel relay and um, and you go buy your business buy your business all right another mm -hmm. thing too that I have is my uh, I have a leakage leakage over here on there's one of these hoses right here that goes down to uh the steering pump so i gotta change that hose because you can see that it's wet a little bit over there and also a little shiny right there a whole bunch of good little things that i have to take care of this weekend coming up also i need to change my alternator because it's not doing a very good job it's old I have a, a deep cycle here and I have a deep cycle back on my trailer let me go show you guys since you guys are here since you guys are washing the dishes there's the deep cycle there some of the videos I already have it already shown this but it's a deep cycle from Walmart and I have a, a solar panel there that comes into this little charger control and just helps charge the battery when uh, the truck is off. But um, I have the wire coming through over here and just running all the way to the front of the uh, of the truck that goes the battery right here. And it's it, it alternate is not doing very good, so I got to replace that. But thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging around. Go and check out Car Fix. More like Car Crush. That's what I've been posting most. But um, yeah, what else I got for you guys? What else? What else? What else? Um, I've been running this truck very hard. So I need to change this. There's a uh, brake fluid as well. But yeah, what do you give me some project, guys? Let me know what you guys want me to do. You know? Let me know. Say something down there in the comments below. We'll go from there. All right, guys. I'm not a mechanic. Just so you know, I am not a mechanic. I just do some research and I just, you know, I just try to fix my the truck my own because some of the mechanics around here, they charge a little bit because this is the Northeast, Massachusetts. So, um, yeah. Thanks, guys, for everything hanging out. Uh, we're already going on like 
15 minutes worth of video or maybe 12 minutes. It depends what I take off or put it on. You guys have a great day. So, uh, guys, don't forget to share, comment down below. What should I do? What should I don't do better on these videos? You know, I'm back. I know. It's been hard. I've been busy. Very busy. So, um, thanks very much for everything, guys. Um, thanks for subscribing and sticking around. Hey, before you go, hit that subscribe button, man. Help me out. Hit the thumbs up, too. It tells YouTube that this video is I okay. But the whole point of this video was just to uh, show you guys that once again. And uh, have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you later.